The Israeli military released video on Saturday showing what it said were forces operating in southern Lebanon. The army said in a statement that the forces dismantled weapons storage facilities and killed a number of Hezbollah militants during encounters and aerial strikes. Israel says it is trying to push the militants away from the border and put an end to more than a year of Hezbollah fire into northern Israel. Some 1.2 million people have been displaced by the conflict in Lebanon, according to government estimates. Israeli officials estimate that about 60,000 have been displaced in northern Israel. Hezbollah began firing rockets into northern Israel the day after Hamas' surprise attack into Israel on October 7, 2023 ignited the war in Gaza. Hezbollah and Hamas are both allied with Iran. For nearly a year, the conflict was mostly contained to the areas along the border between Israel and Lebanon. The conflict dramatically escalated on September 23 with intense Israeli airstrikes on south and east Lebanon as well as Beirut's southern suburbs, leaving hundreds dead and leading to the displacement of nearly 1.2 million people. Israel began a ground invasion of south Lebanon on October 1, causing wide destruction in border villages. Since the conflict erupted, more than 3,000 people have been killed and some 13,600 wounded in Lebanon, the health ministry reported. Israel's military response in Gaza has killed more than 43,000 people, Palestinian health officials say. They do not distinguish between civilians and combatants, but say more than half of those killed were women and children. Israeli airstrikes on Friday hit more buildings in the southern suburbs of Lebanon's capital Beirut, setting off explosions in the area known as Dahia. In the second wave of strikes, two buildings in the Harat Reich and Hadith areas were struck, following Israeli warnings. In a warning notice on X, a spokesman for the Israeli military said that the airstrikes were targeting Hezbollah facilities and interests, without providing further details. There were no immediate reports of casualties. Such Israeli airstrikes have leveled hundreds of buildings and homes over the past eight weeks destroying thousands of housing units. The World Bank estimated that Lebanon has been hit by $8.5 billion in physical damages and economic losses from 13 months of Israel-Hezbollah war. Damages to physical infrastructure alone were valued at $3.4 billion, while economic losses totaled $5.1 billion, the World Bank said in a statement Thursday. Israel has also been striking deeper inside Lebanon since September as it escalates the war against Hezbollah. The U.S. has been trying to broker an end to the fighting between Israel and Hezbollah, which came as the 13-month Israel-Hamas war broadened in September into southern and eastern Lebanon as well as Beirut's southern suburbs. Israel forces invaded South Lebanon on October 1, causing widespread destruction in border villages but making little advances on the ground inside the country. Israeli forces and the Lebanese militant group Hezbollah have been clashing since October 8, 2023, when Hezbollah began launching rockets across the border in support of its ally, Hamas, in Gaza. The conflict escalated beginning in mid-September. Israel has launched a widespread aerial bombardment of Lebanon and a ground invasion that it said is intended to push Hezbollah back from the border. Yeah, hey,